Welcome back to another episode of Mornings with Marv. Today we're going to talk about testing all the things. Now, what do I mean by testing all the things? Now, if you've watched my videos and training before, then you know that I'm a very analytical, logic by the numbers type of person, right? And if you've actually ever hired me to build something, then you also know that I say, up to launch day, everything's built on emotion and theory, and then after that, it's all logic and numbers, right? Because it's based on emotion and theory because we haven't actually proved this concept yet. We just have this idea based on the different things that we've done before in the past that have worked and converted based on our industry and market research. We make the assumption that this thing that we're creating is going to convert a certain way. And then you launch it to the public. Maybe you run ads, maybe you're doing organic, whatever traffic source you might have. You launch it to the public and then you prove your concept. And then once you actually launch it, now we're talking logic and numbers. Right now, it's a numbers game backed by science. So how do you look at the numbers to dial that in? Well, one, pay attention to volume, right? You don't want to start adjusting your follow-up and things after 10, 11 people have gone through it. You don't want to adjust everything because two people on your timeline said this button's ugly over here. You literally want to put 100 people through there, get some volume through there. Then look at the open rate, look at the click-through rate, look at the engagement rate, look at the reactions, look at the comments, look at the shares. Like, look at the numbers. Let the numbers do the t deciding for you. For example, whenever you run a Facebook dynamic campaign, they have dynamic campaigns now where you can literally load it up with 10 pieces of creative, five headlines, five body text, five descriptions, five different call to actions, URLs. You can have that content be optimized by Facebook where Facebook can dynamically chop your, your text and your images and everything up together to show it to different people. Why? because different people consume things in different ways. And us building on emotion and theory up to launch date, that's just what that is, emotion and theory. Past launch date, it's all logic and numbers. So when we run dynamic ads, we boom, run that first batch of 10. Then we dial it in to the top three things. And then boom, we give it another fresh 10 things to test against the top three things, right? And you, you keep testing and you keep dialing it in based on volume. And then that's how you get the best performing ads. That's how you get the best performing email sequences. That's how you get the best follow-up. That's how you get the best funnels is literally dialing it in based on logic and numbers produced by volume. So when you guys are launching and when you guys are testing all the things, just make sure that third one, volume, is part of your, your experiment. Because if you're changing things every 10, 20 people, you're going to spin your fucking wheels forever. So... Let me know below, what are you guys doing to test your audiences, to test your offers, to test your network? Let me know what you guys are doing in the boxes below. This is Big Marv. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. One love. What's up, you guys? It's Big Marv here. That was another episode of Mornings with Marv. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to come back for more, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because I got plenty more where that came from. Thank you guys for tuning in. One love.